Are you trying to record an instrument with your Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 and it sounds digital, chunky, blocky, or it's just not sounding as natural as you expect? Maybe it's too quiet, too loud. These are all problems to do with the instrument or INST button set incorrectly on the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 audio interface. Now, if you are looking for pricing or specs for anything that you see in this video, we do have links down in the description below where you can find current up-to-date pricing from a variety of online retailers. And if you're looking for a text version of this, maybe video is not your style, we do have a blog post on the same subject. Uh, so please check out the link down in the description for that as well. Now, with the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2, you have three different options for inputs, and they all act very differently. With the same jack here, you have an XLR mic level input, and for the quarter inch jack, you can do an instrument level or a line level input. Now, let's quickly look at the specs just so you can see the differences between these three inputs on the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. Now for input level here, you can see that the mic level has an input of 9 dBU. The instrument or the high Z inputs have an input of 12.5 dBU. And the line level input has an input level of plus 22 dBU. Now that's great. That all indicates gain or volume or level that's coming from those source. But we also have another dimension as well, and that's impedance. Now, if we look at impedance on the spec sheet here, you're going to see that the mic has a very low impedance of 3 kilo ohms. The high Z or the instrument level input is extremely high at 1.5 mega ohms, and the line level input is somewhere in the middle at about 60 kilo ohms. So if you plug a quarter inch cable into the Scarlett 2i2, by default, it's going to assume that this is a line level input. A line level input would some be something like a computer, a phone, or a quarter inch output from an electric keyboard. It's going to assume that this will need a minimum gain of plus 22 dBU and an impedance of about 60 kilo ohms. Now, if you're plugging in an electric guitar or electric bass or anything else with magnetic inputs, something like a mandolin microphone, acoustic guitar, anything that has a magnetic input, it's a completely different ball of wax. That is a much higher impedance, and it will generally come into the audio interface a little bit quieter, so it needs more gain from the audio interface in order to sound natural. So you're going to plug the same quarter-inch cable into this, but it will be an instrument-level input, so you need to turn on inst or instrument on the audio interface on whatever input that you're plugging it into and that will tell the audio interface to raise the impedance and to raise the gain a little bit so you get a more natural sound. If you plug an electric guitar into this audio interface without the instrument button turned on it will be a little bit quieter and it will just sound chunky. It won't sound natural at all. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to turn that instrument or inst button on and then your electric guitar, electric bass, your any type of pickup based uh, input that has a magnetic pickup, so acoustic guitar, mandolin, that type of thing again, uh, it will sound way better with the instrument button turned on. If you do, again, want pricing or specs for the microphone, the interface, or anything that you see in this video, we do have links down in the description below. If you do want to see a text version of this, please check out KettnerCreative.com or check out the link down in the description below. If you have any questions or comments on this, leave a comment down below. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.